Greetings, everybody. Chris Campbell here. So a lot of you may or may not know that I'm an ordained minister. I also do gospel magic shows. Uh, a lot of you recognize me as being a magician that I've performed on stage, theaters, uh, TV, cruise ships, and local events and festivals. But tonight I'm going to share with you one of my favorite all-time gospel magic tricks. It involves this piece of paper. Now, like this piece of paper, when we're all born, we're born as sinners. We're not perfect, like this piece of paper. Yes, it does have wrinkles in it. It does have creases, but that's no big deal to Jesus. Because if we live right, do what's right, it will always, always work out in the end. So just like this piece of paper, no matter which direction we take in life, we may have ups and we may have downs. We may not always stray on course. We may sometimes stray a little off course. But if we find a church that we like and become a member of, then we ask Jesus Christ into our heart and our soul as our personal Savior. And no matter what he does, he will always be there for us. And let's say when that time comes that we do finally die and take that airplane ride to the glory gates, and meet St. Peter at the pearly gates. That's where we decide our fate, whether we have the ticket to heaven. Now, just like this piece of paper, we have two different options. We have a pencil that we can write our story on, and it can always be changed. But for those who stray off and become bad and do bad and never try to do good, it's always put down with a permanent marker. So, with our permanent marker, we cannot erase what we have done sin-wise, but we can always ask for redemption and repentance, and we can also ask for forgiveness. But you see, there's always two sides to every story. Depending on how severe your consequences that you have done, it depends on what you dealt in your ticket to heaven. So your ticket could be cut into pieces like this, Let's say you do a little bit more and your ticket becomes just a little bit shorter and we cut it a little bit more. Okay, so we now have all of these pieces here. So now we have our big ticket to heaven, but we also have all of these little pieces. I'm going to slide this over to the side just for a moment. You see, we'll focus on the small pieces. These are the pieces that we have messed up in our life, stuff that we have done wrong. There's actually two places that you can end up for all eternity. That first place could be a place that you do not want to go to. And we will see what the ticket says once we open it up. It spells out a message. This will tell you where you could end up in all of eternity if you do not live right. <clears throat> With the cut of the ticket to heaven, you can end up in one of two places. You could either end up here in hell, which nobody wants to end up. Or if you live right, ask Jesus Christ into your heart and soul as your personal Savior, you will always have a ticket to heaven. And he will always see you through the dark, the good, and the bad. And that's why Jesus overprevails anything that you can imagine. Always ask him into your heart and soul as your personal Savior. And he can work miracles and wonders beyond your imagination. I hope you enjoy this. May God bless and have a wonderful evening.